I'm Carter Osterhaus, and this is a million dollar room. We're getting an exclusive look inside the most spectacular million dollar rooms around the globe. From an Italian inspired home theater so extravagant, it even sounds like a million dollars. I've never seen or heard anything like this. To a Hawaiian retreat with a master suite so spectacular, you won't be able to tell where the room ends and paradise begins. Just look around. This is all your private sanctuary. There's just nothing like this. Plus, the owner of this million dollar garage lets it ride with his pricey possessions. <laughs> Hello, Chicago. <laughs> it's an all access pass inside these incredible million dollar rooms. The first stop on our tour of the world's most incredible million dollar rooms takes us to the suburbs of Irvine, California. Designer Theo Kalamarakis shows us around a multi-million dollar mansion that was built for one reason, to entertain in a big way. The owner of this extravagant home loves all things Italy, so he built a huge Italian piazza modeled after his favorite town square in Siena. And that's not all. Surrounding the piazza is a whole private city made up of amazing million dollar entertainment spaces that include a home theater, a pizzeria, nightclub, and even a vintage arcade. Theo! Hey! How are you? Welcome. Well, Thank you for coming. Oh my god, welcome is right. I mean, this is amazing. Where are we right now? We're in the middle of uh, Irvine, but in reality, <laughs> we're in the Central Piazza in Siena, which is what was the inspiration of this project. And this homeowner wanted to replicate every bit of his Italian travels, not to mention give his guests an experience they would never forget. So he commissioned Theo to give each space its very own over-the-top theme. We created five facades using different materials to give its building its own identity. If you think the outside is swanky, check out the inside. No expense was spared on a custom home theater that blows away every multiplex in town. This amazing home theater features an intricate and expensive expensive design, but also a ton of really cool high-tech upgrades. There we are. This is gorgeous, Theo. The curvature on the walls and the ceiling and the arches, I mean, that is just spectacular. You go and see home theaters today <laughs> and everything is a box. You yeah. see four walls. Mm -hmm. This is taking the idea of the box and exploding it, and uh -huh. it becomes much, much more complex. To find out what is perhaps the most expensive add-on in the room, all you have to do is look up. This over-the-top home theater has a customized ceiling designed for a one-of-a-kind acoustic experience. The process of sculpting it, casting it, installing it, and hanging it from the ceiling so you don't have absolutely no vibration, noise from the room escaping the rest of the house, it was an experience that cost us over a million dollars just what? for the ceiling. Are you serious? Yeah. And the cost doesn't stop there. This room has a sound system that can hold its own with the top concert halls in the world. This room uh, conceals a technology that has about 150 speakers, give or take, in order to be able to turn it with a flip of a switch sure. from a theater mm -hmm. to a concert hall. How do you turn it into a concert hall? I will click a little okay. button, which okay. you do it with your iPhone or your iPad, Okay. And now you hear me? Uh, there's no voice. The better is no talk. Whoa, hey there. That is no way. How did you do that? That's so you just turned it into a concert hall by, what are there, speakers in the walls? It's that called are... Concertino Magic, and uh -huh. there are speakers that are residing behind every oh square my and oval that... That it is, is so space. amazing. I've never seen or heard anything like this. Does this concertino help with the voice, like make it sound a little bit better? Yes, it does, and we can make it sound, but I'm pretty sure you have a good voice, so go ahead and, and build it out. Okay, we got it. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Not only is this multi-million dollar cinema the ultimate place for live performances, it provides a movie-going experience that will literally move you. We have the, probably the biggest projector you can get, uh -huh. even for a regular commercial side theater. So the picture that comes from, uh, from the screen is as bright, clear, and defined as awesome. you can get. It's a quarter of a million dollar projector. On top of the system, the sound system, which adds to the budget another million dollars. 
what's up with all the electronics within the seats? The whole theater is built on platforms that are meant to vibrate, move, tilt, along with the soundtrack of a properly coded really? movie. So when you sit down and the Tyrannosaurus attack you, you actually run for your <laughs> so life. It's you a whole try it? another experience to watch a movie. I Go have to take part in that. You haven't seen anything yet. Sure. Hold on to your seats. Come on. What? <laughs> No way. I love the fact that it turns. So if we're in a car chase, it goes back and yes. forth. Oh, this is crazy. How much does a whole setup like this cost? Well, the seats are one item, but the actual platforms that move is about $150,000. I could stay here all day and do this. Why would you ever want to go to the theater? You never get the kind of experience, no. visceral, that you get here. Never. No theater. This is a fantastic, wonderful space. How much does a room like this cost? It's probably close to $3 million if you get everything in. But this was such a unique experience to be in here. But I know there's more to see, correct? There is plenty more to and see. And I don't know how you're going to be able to top this. Uh, watch it. Come right. with me. <laughs> Let's go. This should be fun. We're continuing our tour of this amazing California mansion that was built for entertaining. We just checked out the insane movie complex, and date night really isn't complete without a great meal. As designer Theo Kalmarakis shows us, that's not a problem in this home because the owners built their own authentic pizzeria. This is great. We call it Ristorante Etrusca, and it's an Italian, a traditional Italian restaurant, rustic in its uh -huh. design. Not only is this a fully functioning restaurant, but this homeowner shelled out big bucks to make sure the decor stayed true to traditional Italian style. Well, I love the style. I love from the granite to the wood to even the brick and the stone. So there are a bunch of different elements that are working in brick, this room. Brick, stone, and also ceramic tiles on the top to give it a little yeah. bit of an exterior flavor. And it's funny because just adding this little roof line right here, just it really sets the tone for this room. Not to be outdone by the movie theater, this restaurant also has high-tech ceilings of its own. Theo installed custom panels to hide a top-of-the-line sound system while keeping the old-world Italian feel intact. This is not a ceiling, it's a fabric that's painted to look like a ceiling, and that fabric conceals acoustical material, acoustical treatments, and speakers what? throughout in order to give... That's not just drywall up there? That is not drywall, and I dare you to step up and try it. No you way. You see it? It's suede. It's ho it looks like suede. That is crazy. I so would have thought that that was drywall up top here, but you, it's just a fabric and there's it's, a finish of coat it's the, put on. Yeah, We want to look like a traditional ceiling, ah. but we want the ceiling to have the properties that extend the oral experience from the bar mm -hmm. to the rest of the house. When I think drywall, I think, you know, whatever, $12, get a couple sheets, whatever, and not that expensive. How much is that ceiling, just the ceiling alone? Just the acoustical treatments, not, the, not the, the fabric and the treatments, not the speakers. It's about fifteen, twenty thousand oh dollars And that old world style quickly disappears as you head next door. The owner wanted a place where guests could dance the night away, so he built his very own personal state-of-the-art nightclub. This is our ultra-high-tech nightclub. Every square inch of the space is marked by technology. But let's talk about the floor first off. I see that the dance floor is crazy because it's uh, lit up a ton of LED lights. There are LED lights that can be programmed. Everything here, all the lighting is controllable. It's mostly this. reacting to music. Uh -huh. When you dance something, you have a um, high-energy mm -hmm. soundtrack, this thing picks up the cues from the music so it allows you to dance on a dance floor that fits the energy from the song. This is fantastic. What does a floor like this cost? I would say it was about uh, $30,000, $40,000. The dance floor is not the only hot spot in this space. At the touch of a button, this nightclub reveals another amazing surprise. You see the space where you're sitting down here? Uh -huh. You flip a switch mm -hmm. and it turns into a stage. Here we go. Look at this. Oh, man. You're being Look elevated into a superstar. Look go? at this. Come on. This is crazy. How does this actually work with the stage lifting up like it did? It's a pneumatic lift that allows the stage to go down and go flush with the floor. So when you dance, it expands the dancing space. And then when you have a band performing that you want to see from the seats, it goes up like a regular stage. But it's completely concealed. You don't know there's a stage until you sit on it and then this thing decides <laughs> to rise. 
If tripping the light fantastic isn't your thing, just put on your game face and head next door to a fully loaded million dollar arcade. Oh man, how cool is this? The owner is a fanatic collector. So he's not only has a built an arcade set up in here. No, it's a museum of arcades. Yeah, it arcade is a museum, games. but that they're all functional too and they all work. Perfect condition, every single one of them. They have a lot of value. Collector species that range from 20 to 30 to 40 thousand dollars a piece the last stop in this ultimate arcade is a true collector's item with a six-figure sticker price an air combat simulator that brings out your inner jet fighter so this has to be one of your favorite games in the entire room it's actually the most fun the whole space that you see was built around this unit come on and look really? around all the doors are like 30 inches wide yeah. this needs seven foot opening to fit so when we've uh, designed the space nothing was closed in we no brought the piece way. and then see, construction started so this is in tune here you it really, can never go <laughs> it's in tune i like that so you literally what, did you get a crane in here just to get this down? A and then you started it in, building around it. started building the room around oh it. Oh, my gosh. So this no is way. a special piece. Welcome, all riders. Please buckle your seatbelts, keep your hands in, and hold on tight. Oh, man, I don't even know if I can fit in here. This was such a treat to see all of this. I mean, to see the square, to see the theater, to see the pizzeria, to see the dance floor and the arcade. There's so much amazingness here. And the fact that it's in somebody's home is truly an experience. Thank you. It's Thank been you such a great much. experience. Thank you very much. Awesome place. Come again and play that machine. I will do that. Uh -huh.